So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a landing page to put uh, your links on your Instagram page so that you don't have to sign up for a service. So part of the reason that you want to do this is if you're using something like Linktree, this is an old Linktree account of mine, uh, it's not really branded to your site and you want to make it look like your site. You want to have more control over it. Plus, there was recently an issue with Instagram and Linktree, and some of the links went down, and some of the profiles went down, and if you're using your own page, you have more control over things like that, right? So you're not dependent on somebody else's service. So normally, you could just make a page on your website, and I'm actually going to do another video to show you how to make a page on your website, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a MailChimp landing page as your Instagram links page. Part of the reason that I came up with this is because I am working on building a new site for myself and I wanted to get an Instagram page up but I didn't want to build it on my old site and I didn't want to wait until the new site was ready. So the new site should be ready by the end of the month but I wanted to get the Instagram page up now. So it occurred to me to try to use uh, a MailChimp landing page and I did that this morning, so now I'm going to show you the process that I used so that you can do it for yourself. First thing you're going to want to do is log into your Instagram account. You will need to have a list created for this, so if you don't already have a list created, you're going to go to lists and make a list. But I already have a list, so for this, I'm just going to go to campaigns. And then on the pop-up that comes up, I'm going to select that I want to create a landing page campaign. So create a landing page, and for this I'm just going to do a sign up landing page. We're going to call it Instagram demo, or I'm going to put in a whole bunch of other letters because I'm typing when people can see me, and then we're going to select generalist. So Instagram demo as our page name, and this is just an internal page name. The rest of the public does not see this, and what list do you want it to go to? So when we get to the page, we're going to design it here, and basically what I want this to look like is something kind of like the layout of the Linktree style page to start with, but again, I want it branded to my own stuff. So I'm going to take the background color to white. I'm going to add in my header graphic, and I'm going to use the header graphic that I'm using with my new site just so it feels more cohesive when I launch the new site. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to go over to settings. I'm going to say edge to edge so it takes up that whole space. We're going to save that area. I don't really want a big headline, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out. You can go ahead and put something in there if you want. And I know this may seem counterintuitive, but I'm actually going to take out the subscribe form because I don't want the subscribe form right on this links page. I just want people to have a place to go where I can put links to other things. So now over here on my content settings, I'm going to scroll down until I get buttons. And I'm going to drag some buttons over here. So we're going to say, check out my website. And I'm going to put the website address there. And save and close. I'm going to style them all at once here in a minute. I'll show you that too. Um, we're going to say learn on my YouTube channel. Let's maybe add another one for my latest blog posts that'll take them directly to my blog. I've always had this issue whenever someone can see what I'm typing, I end up mistyping things all the time. So I swear I'm usually much better. It's just because I'm recording. And then so I could put like sign up for my newsletter and I can take it to the sign up page on my website. 
um, you could just put the newsletter subscription form on there that's totally up to you and then some other things you could do for instance um, so I'm gonna go ahead and style all these buttons real quick before we get into that so for all of them let's say I want uh, a slightly better border radius we're gonna do uh, I want pink background um, I want let's pick a different font we'll do caveat here no that's kind of terrible let's make that a little bit bigger um, okay we don't actually want to do that font because that's hard to read and I didn't want bold and now I can click this here and say apply to all existing blocks, which is makes it super easy. One last thing I'm going to do is go over to the settings tab and say full width because I actually like my blocks to be full width and then they will be full width, especially on a mobile device, um, which will make it easier for people to be able to tap them on their cell phones and stuff. And then let's see, I want to also do maybe a social follow, some social follow links down here, right? So I'm going to throw in my social links. Um, I don't think I need websites since I already have that button there. We could add, come on, Pinterest. And now I know it might seem silly, but I'm going to go ahead and add Instagram because even though people are coming here from Instagram, I could also use this page to be just a simple landing page from other social media sites too. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Drop that in. Didn't I already put that in there? All right. One more, once more with feeling. Instagram. We're going to add one. We'll add Pinterest. And we're going to do save and close. So we've added those. I mean, you can add in some other things. Like I said, you could always drag in a sign up form in here so it has, you know, their email address. This list I do have marked as a GDPR compliant list. So we get these marketing permissions things here which is kind of why I didn't want it on uh, this page to begin with. I'm going to take that back out. You can always add in some pictures. You could add in links to your blog post with a featured image. You can do all kinds of stuff here, like whatever content you want to add that's based on these, go for it. But this is all I wanted to add, especially for, uh, for social or for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and click my save button down here. I don't know why the video is cutting off, but it is. And now it's going to make us add a page title. <clears throat> I'm going to say welcome from Instagram and then we got to give it a custom URL down here. So we're going to give it this. Now this is a MailChimp landing page so it's going to have its own like randomly generated thing in there and these you know, numbers and there's nothing we can do about that but that's okay. I have a workaround for that too because I don't want to put this in my Instagram profile right? I don't want people going to that messy link. What if I want to change it later or whatever? So for right now, we've finished our page. I'm going to go ahead and publish the page. Okay, so now it's live. I'm going to copy this link and then I'm going to go and log into my website. And I use a plugin called redirection, which allows me to redirect things on my site. I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so redirection. So you can see what I did before. And so we have uh, this Instagram. So to do that, <clears throat> I have this plugin called, like I said, called redirection. So I'm going to say add new. And let's say I want it to be links, right? Is the page so if somebody goes to beyondtheoffice.com slash links then it's actually going to redirect to that MailChimp landing page 
So I'm going to go ahead and add that, and then down here I can test it. So if I click on links, it's going to redirect to that MailChimp landing page. And there's that landing page I just created, which has links to my website and my YouTube channel and the blog posts and all of that other loveliness. So I can now put this beyondtheoffice.com slash links in my Instagram profile or Pinterest or wherever I want to use it, and it'll take people to this customized landing page that I made on my MailChimp account. Hope you all like the video. Please leave comments below and let me know what you thought. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button, and uh, I'd love to see you come back. Have a great day. Bye.